Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the join operators. So, what are these join operators? So, first one we will learn about this combined latest all, which comes under the join category operators. Let's open this combined latest all. We have learned about this combined latest in the previous RxJS videos. That means what the combined latest will do, it will take the latest value from each observable and it will give you the data as an array. So, that is the combined latest. In the same scenario, if you have an observable of observables, okay, if you have an observable of observables, there you will be having multiple observables and you will be using the combined latest function, so using that function. But here, you have, if you have an observable of observables, those all observables are observable will be combined using the combined latest operator <coughs> and it will, it will give you the data one by one, if each value, if any of the observable emits the data, it will give you the latest value from each inner observable as an array. So, that is the combined latest all. It will be little bit of uh, somewhat you will be having confusion, but you will be able to understand if I show you a practical example. Combined latest all, if you try to see here, combined latest all takes an observable of observables. So, that means it will take an observable of observables and collects all observables from it. So, that means whatever the inner observables it is having, it, uh, it collects all the inner observables from it. Once the outer observable completes, it subscribes to all collected observables and combines their values using the combined latest strategy. So, every time an inner observable emits, the output observable emits. <coughs> so, every time an inner, any of the inner observable emits means the output observable. So, then, then you will be at an output. When the return observable emits, it emits all the latest values by that one. So, now if I will try to show you the, uh, so there is no marble diagram here. Now, I will try to show you how is in the practical it will be working. For example, if you try to see here, let us try to create NGGC pages slash combine latest all sorry all operator so same thing so it will be something like combine latest operator i will show you that combine latest operator also we have already used that one combine latest if i try to show you that one combine latest yeah we have have we have here so here we are having this observable okay now here what it is trying to do so observable set timer so we are combining the two observables source 1 and the source 2 so whenever whenever these two observables emit the data it will take the latest value from these two observables and it will give you as an array so this is the combined latest operator okay now here it is emitting uh, something like uh, if, we, if we try to show you that one combined latest i will show you so here is the combined latest if i click here you will be able to get the values here if you try to see 4 comma 10 5 comma 10 so like this we are able to get so why these are values are we are able to get here 4 comma 10 5 comma 10 means so here we are able to uh, here we are able to emit the data <coughs> so here we are emitting the data observable dot not next number plus plus we are emitting the data here and also here it is emitting the data so for every 5 seconds it is emitting 10 and here it is emitting the i value something like uh, 1 2 3 4 like that okay so number number right number is 0 and we are doing the number plus plus now what is happening here so at least one of one of one of the observable emits the data it takes the latest value from each observable and it, and it will give you as an array so that is the combined latest thing now if you try to see the combined latest all i will show you so here this is the combined latest all combined latest all combined latest all okay and let us try to add it here also. Combine latest all. Combine latest all. So, let us try to add this one. Combine latest all operator. Yeah. So, now let us open this one. <coughs> Combine latest all. Right. Yeah. So, now in this one, what I will try to do is let us assume that I have a source. Okay, so I have a source. Sorry, I have a source here. I have something like a comma b. So this is the source. Now, if you try to see here, okay. Now, what I will try to do, I will try to subscribe to this one. Okay, I will try to subscribe to this one. So this is the thing. Now, whenever source observable emits the data, okay, I will go to the map operator. I will open this map operator. Let us assume that I will open this map operator. 
Hey, where is this one? Yeah, map operator. <coughs> okay. So in this map operator, I will get the value, and here what I will try to do is I will return an observable. So interval of okay, interval of thousand. So let's assume that it is returning an observable. Now if you try to see, or otherwise what I will try to do is take of four. So each by each interval will emit the data. Sorry, pipe of take of four. So pipe of take of four. Now if you try to see the output, what could be the output here? <coughs> let's go to the combined latest all. So here I will be going to the combined latest all. Let's open this one. Come on, what happened here? Okay, take of four. We need to implement. Yeah. So now let's go to the combined latest all here. So what it is happening here? If you go to the combined latest all, it is giving you an observable, right? Now if you want to <coughs> return the values, the latest values from this interval. So that means you are having two inner observables. Why? Because two inner observables will be created because you are having outer observable of two values. So that means two intervals will be created. Now the both intervals. So whenever the value is emitted by these intervals, so any of the interval, we need to take the latest value from each interval and we need to give the data. Now what I can do here? So now we can apply operator something like combine latest all. So I can use combine latest all. So combine latest all will combine with the observables, inner observable, whatever the inner observables we are having. So it will combine, it will it will subscribe to all the inner observables and it will emit the latest value. It will give the latest value as an array. Whatever the inner observables it is subscribed to. Now, if you try to see the output, see here. I will try to refresh. <coughs> First, zero zero is emitted. So why? Because so zero one zero one one two one two two three two three three like this. So for every one second, whenever the value is emitted, so it will take the latest value from the interval. So for example, if you are having C means, so you will be having three levels of on input. Now, if you try to see here, zero comma zero comma zero, you will be having three intervals. If any of the interval is emitted, means then it will again fire. So one is emitted by the first interval, so that is the reason it is taking one the latest value from the first interval. Zero zero is the interval that is taking from the second and third. Why? Because it didn't emit it. Now one is emitted by the second interval, so that's why again it is emitting the latest values from the three intervals. So like this, like this, it is going on emitting the latest values. So whenever any of the interval emits the data, it takes the latest values from all the intervals, whatever the intervals it is subscribed to in the observables, and it will emit you as an array. So this is about the combined latest all. Hope you understood about this combined latest all. So some is simple only. So whatever the combined latest, whatever the combined latest will do, but this combined latest all will apply for the inner observables. <coughs> here, here the inner observables will be created will be three observables. Three inner observables we will be having. So those three observables it will be um, uh, combined latest will be subscribed and any of the interval emits the data, so it will take the latest value from all the three intervals and it will emit you as an array. <coughs> That's all about combined latest all. Hope you understood about this combined latest all. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.